Well, greetings, everybody. Welcome to House to House Discipleship Institute. I am your host, Elder Joshua Malar, bringing you an in tune with the triune uh, as we continue to press on and press in towards the mark of the high calling. I just want to say thank you to your new subscribers. Thank you for you coming out and taking time out of your day to watch us in the morning, in the evening, in the afternoon, or whatever time frame you're watching, whether it's today, tomorrow, if you're seeing this for the very first time, we wanna thank you, we wanna welcome you, and we wanna say shalom, shalom to you. And shalom is a Hebrew word that means to destroy the power of authority of chaos in your life. Have you ever just sat down sometimes and your mind has just been cluttered and cluttered with a lot of things that really doesn't pertain to the kingdom of Yahuwah, to the kingdom of our Father, the Lord, which is a descriptive term. But we use it right here at H2HDI, we use the term Lord to show you and to teach you that that is not his name. The name of our heavenly creator, the name of our heavenly father is Yahuwah. Now, before the foundations of the world, the lamb was slain. But before the lamb was slain, our creator had a name. His name is Yahuwah. Can you say that with me? Yahuwah. So I want to thank you because now that you got to say his name, guess what? Now you get to rule and reign with him. So if you want to rule and reign, you got to restore his name. Amen? Let's push on, let's press in and go forth. So I spent time, I answered prayer and you, some of you have backtracked with me since I was uh, with uh, H2HDI since I guess uh, the beginning of our YouTube channel several years ago. I was here and I sat at the feet of my apostle, Apostle Robert Gonzalez and his lovely wife, Prophet Virginia Gonzalez. They have t taught me so much, they have mentored me, they equipped me, and I can say this, they have even learned to correct me too, because I was willing to be a son who is willing to stand corrected even if I have to go through chastisement. I don't want to be like the enemy who's a, and I'm sorry to say if you get this, uh, get offended that I say this, a bastard son, Hebrews 12 and 13. Yahuwah loves those he, he chastens. Yahuwah chast chastises those he loves. Excuse me if I'm butchering the text, but uh, that's the way I just thought of it right now. But now I'm going to help to teach you and equip you that Yahuwah loves you. And if you feel chastised by him, that's because he wants to correct you and bring you to a higher state of living, a higher state of being in tune with the Father. John 17, Yeshua, the Son, if we know him today as Jesus Christ, said, Father, make them one as we were one before the foundations of the world. So if you, let's turn that. Let's go to John 17. Some of you guys don't believe me, but you know what? Please don't believe me. I'd rather you believe the scriptures. Believe the one that was sent. Don't, please, 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 I'm begging you. If I can get on my knees right now, I'd tell you, do not trust me. Do not rely on me. Please do not rely on the scriptures because they were there before the foundations of the world. John chapter 1. Let's go there before we ever go into John 17. Hallelujah. In the beginning was the word, the Aleph Tav. The word was with Yahuwah, and the word was Yahuwah. And he was in the beginning, the Bereshith, with God, or Yahuwah. And God, if you've tracked with us, or if you're new with us, the word God is a descriptive term for the name of Yahuwah. Replacement theology states that it whatever sounds good and whatever is qualified as the same as the original, you can use it, such as God and Lord. But we need to return back to the basics. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 1. Repentance from dead works. We need to repent. So us as sons who's bearing the weight, the kabod, the weight and glory of our Father, who bear the load on our shoulders, we must learn to repent. So before I begin, Father, in Yeshua's name, I repent. Not only to you first and foremost, I repent because I had a preconceived pre idea, a preconceived thought, a preconceived notion that was set forth into reading your scripture, Father, that was not of you. So I repent unto me and I'm repenting on this stream of H2HDI 
that we need to go back to basics and I'm returning us back to basics. So the establishment of the kingdom of Yahuwah here on earth is the primary principle and original intention of placing man here on earth. You know you and I had a purpose here on earth to manifest the kingdom of our Father. Did you know that? If you want to go there, go to Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 through 28. Let's, we'll turn there and we'll go back to John chapter 17. Now, G Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 says, Then Yahuwah, God, said, Let us make man in our image according to our likeness. Let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creeps on earth. So remember when I said you have the power, you have the dominion to rule and reign by restoring his original name? I meant that. Because the way you do it is by having dominion. You know the battle is in between your ears and you have dominion to take down that serpent that plagues you, that torments you, that keeps on getting you out of your comfort in him, in Yahuwah? I know I pointed up, but I forgot to tell you, he lives in you. So last time I checked, the father sent the son to then dwell here on this earth. And once death, burial, resurrection, and soon coming return came, he then dwelt within us. You and I are the manifested presence of our father in this day, taking back dominion as his sons. You're a kingdom son citizen. You have citizenship in the kingdom, and that's why you are walking in the dominion of a son. There, in our Greek, if you paid attention with us and uh, stayed with us, you can go to our archives here on the lower third, our H2HDI archives, and you can see the five Greek growth levels, which is napios, a babe, Podion, a child, technon, a teenager. Then you have weos, a fully matured son, as it says in Timothy. A son that is fully furnished, not lacking nothing. And what is the fully furnished uh, pieces that he's saying? The fully furnished? If you go back to our previous in tune with the triune, I tell you the fully furnished pieces within you and I. That was in Exodus 25, Ark of the Covenant, Holy of Holies. You got to think like him. You got to talk like him. You got to be like Yahuwah. That's why I say you got to stay in tune with Yahuwah, in with the triune. And it's hard because the battle is always going to be in between your ears. You got to see everything around you that is subject to change. That is your idea. See everything as a thought and master that thought. And understand that everything you see around you is subject to change. Behold, all things are made new. The kingdom is unfold, unfolded between within you and I. The kingdom of our Father is within you. It's nigh thee. It's even nigh thee within thy lips. Can you not see the kingdom within you? And if you can't, you can always come and join us here at H2HDI in Wildemar, California. And we're going to continue on and we can break bread with you. I want to be your friend. I want to be somebody who's going to learn, help to esteem you greater than myself because that is what I'm here and called to do, to esteem you greater than myself and to esteem you in the kingdom and to show you your identity is hidden within Christ Jesus or as we say here at H2HDI, Yeshua Mashiach. Amen? When you're speaking about the kingdom of Yahuwah, you're speaking about a God, Yahuwah. The definition of the word uh, in Hebrew Strong's Concordance 4467 is Memlaka, and it is the pronunciation is Memlaka. The function of this word is to take rule, reign, and dominion. Genesis chapter 1, verse 26 and through 28. In the concordance of the mighty one we serve is Yahuwah. And its number and pronunciation is Hebrews 3068. And the way you pronounce his name is Yahuwah. So if you want to stay in the kingdom, if you're a kingdom son and you're ruling and reigning as a kingdom son, 
change the titles, change the descriptive term, and call him by name, and I guarantee you, you will see results. Read the scriptures with an anticipation of transformation. And when you begin to see that, you're going to see the son in you increase as you decrease and see the father unveil himself in you. When I was 16, I'm going to show a small testimony. We're going to go back to Genesis 17. When I was 16, I said, Father, I'm, I'm tired of going to church. I want to see you. So I'm, I'm, it's in the summer. I'm not in high school yet. I'm not in my last year of uh, the senior high, I think. 16, 17. Yeah, senior high. And I was on my knees for two hours straight. Speaking in tongues. And I'm like, man, they're, they're like pushing, pushing. Because I know my end result is to meet him. By the end result, the door behind me to my room is locked, closed. The uh, window curtains in front of me is closed. And the minute I was about to give up, I said, no, keep going. And in the second hour, coming into the third hour, there his presence manifested and I felt his hand on my head. I felt his other hand on my shoulder. And I felt like somebody catapulted me into the kingdom, into waters. When you're, oh my God, this is, this is amazing. When, have you ever, when you were a child, you had a, a grown adult throw you in a, the, in a pool or in a lake and they grab you by the ribs and you're just like four or five years old and they catapult you into the pool or into a lake? That's what the father does when you begin to see the intimacy that he wants for you and him, for you and I, you're going to be feeling like he catapulted you in the mem, the Hebrew word for waters, mem laka, the kingdom is hovering over the waters. Come on. Hallelujah. How much more time? Okay, I got a little bit more time left. John 17. <laughs> oh man, I'm trying to get there. This is Yeshua speaking before he's about to go to his uh, death, burial, and resurrection and soon come and return. Father, the hour has come. Esteem your son that your son may also esteem you. That's a kingdom son right there. You are supposed to esteem the father as the father esteems you and you back to him. As you have given him authority over all flesh... All flesh. Isn't that interesting how it says in verse 2 right here that if you go to Genesis chapter 1, he says all flesh. So if there's flesh that's creeping in the, in the ground, if there's flesh that's walking on the f ground, if there's even flesh in the waters, or even flesh in the air, you have dominion over all of it. The battle is always in between your ears. So what does the, why does it correspond that there is domain that uh, he tells us to have dominion over all flesh of the earth and then he's also telling us what about the ideas that you have in your mind the serpent that that's trying to creep in and trying to get you out of your shalom in yahuwah that's an idea that you can overcome he called you an overcomer he didn't call you to be the tail he called you to be the head amen the head of the household the olive Verse 2, as you have given him authority over all flesh that he should give eternal life as to as many as you have given him. And this is eternal life. <laughs> That's amazing. That they may know you, the only true Yahuwah and Yeshua HaMashiach whom you have sent. So why is Yeshua saying this and he says his name, Yeshua HaMashiach. Or in King James, Jesus Christ, whom you sent. Verse 4. That's a that's right there. Why does he say his name? You glorified him. Let me reread it. And this eternal life, that they may know you, Yahuwah, the only true Yahuwah, God, Mighty One, Elohim, and Jesus Christ, Outer Court, Master, Adonai, Holy Court, whom you have sent, Yeshua HaMashiach. So Yeshua is sent. You're a son sent from the Holy of Holies. And I'm going to end it with verse 4. I have glorified you on earth, this earth. I have finished with the work which you have given me to do. Genesis chapter 1, 1 all the way to Revelation chapter 22. Better sheath all the way to Revelation 22 that ends with Amin. Foster the word. In the beginning, all of Tav. In the end, foster the word. You become the word made flesh. So, 
until we see each other again oh. can you walk the kingdom out as a son ready to bear the load the the not the eh, i think it is bayros excuse me if i i gotta go back to that word but it's the bayros the greek word for the to bear the load of the kabad the hebrew word for esteem can you bear the weight i know you can i just gave you the scriptures you're an overcomer and you can take dominion in yeshua's name in yahuwah's name but that's why <laughs> seek ye first the kingdom and these things and his righteousness and these things shall be added so how do you do that how do you walk out the kingdom well what you're going to do first is continue to like share and subscribe to h2hdi which is house to house discipleship institute where we have our sabbath live stream from 12 p.m to 1 p.m noon every saturday we have our let isha speak which is uh, hosted by prophet seer virginia gonzalez who teaches women, which Isha is actually means woman, wife, and woman, wife, warrior. And she teaches you how to stay encouraged and how to continue to praise Yahuwah and to always put a smile on because women need encouragement and they need to speak one with each other without feeling any judgment, but to know that they are there to esteem each other greater than themselves. We have our terabytes hosted by the Dr. Reverend Bishop, founding father of the... No, he's not a bishop. He's a father to the sons here at the house. <laughs> that was my soul talking. But, and to correct it, this is uh, uh, Apostle Menekem Yah or Sheliak Menekem Yah, Dr. Robert Gonzalez, who hosts Terabytes, which is founded in Romans chapter 13, verse 3, which he teaches you and I and the household how to become threat, a terror, and a revenger to the kingdom of darkness to unveil the kingdom of light. John chapter 8, verse 12. Let's read that before this is our finale. John chapter 8, verse 12. Yeshua spoke to them again, to you and I, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. So until we see each other again, follow Yeshua and seek you first the kingdom. Amen. It's that simple. Anyways, until we see each other again, continue to like, share, subscribe, leave us a comment on our terabytes, on Let Isha Speak, on our In Tune with the Triune, even on our Sabbath live stream. And please don't forget to take notes, continue to research because we need to be, any questions you have given us, please will we be glad to respond as fast as we can. So in, until we see each other again, in Yeshua's name, in Yahuwah's name, Shalom, Shalom, Amin, good day.